In photography, there's often an obsession with the latest, most expensive gear and the coolest new toys. And there's this sense that unless you have a camera you had to mortgage your house to buy, a lens that costs as much as a year at Yale, a whole slew of fancy filters, toys, and remotes, and a private helicopter to fly you to all the best spots that you'll never take any good photos in your life, how much is true and how much is myth? Stick around. Welcome to Professional Photography Tips. My name is Josh Cripps, and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. I'm here to tell you exactly what equipment you need in order to take amazing nature photos, and it's less than what you think. First things first, you have to have a camera that lets you adjust aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and white balance. That's critical because it lets you do things like control what your viewers look at in your image, adjust the mood and feel of your photos, bring out certain colors, and make other creative decisions about your photography. And when you're making creative decisions, that's what elevates your photos from snapshots to art. As long as you have the capability to change those four things, there's absolutely no need to spend a fortune on your camera. In fact, some of my own best-selling photos, like this one, were taken with an entry-level camera you can't even buy anymore because it's so obsolete. So worry less about which model you buy because all modern digital cameras are amazing machines. And just make sure you've got the ability to change your aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and white balance, and you'll be good to go. Oh, and one more thing, make sure you've also got the ability to change. Ultimately, a good lens will play a more crucial role in getting the shot than your camera will. The right lens lets you set up the compositions you want, get the perspectives you need, and bring out all the beautiful details of your subject. And rather than getting one lens that does everything just okay, I recommend getting specific lenses that are great at whatever you're most interested in. Wide-angle lenses are generally used for landscapes. Mid-ranges are great for portraits or single subjects, and telephoto lenses are what you want to use for wildlife. Now, those are by no means absolute classifications, but it's a good starting point if you're not sure what's what. I can hear you now. Do I really need a tripod? Well, yes. At least if you ever want to take any photos like this, or this. A good tripod not only gives you a stable base to shoot from for the highest quality shots as well as the ability to do long exposure photography, but it also gives you consistency, which is the best possible thing you could ask for when you're dialing in that perfect shot. As far as what kind of tripod to get, I highly recommend getting one with a ball head because of their ease of use and flexibility. And personally, I also like these twisting leg locks rather than the toggle locks because they're easier to clean and less likely to break. Now, Whatever you do, do not buy a tripod like this. This will frustrate you, this will annoy you, this will make you angry, and your tripod should never make you angry. When buying your tripod, take a deep breath, spend a few hundred dollars, and get something good. Otherwise, I guarantee you will ultimately spend twice as much money by buying a crappy tripod first, then a slightly better one, then a slightly better one, and then finally, a good one. And that's it. Believe it or not, everything else is optional. Because great photos aren't about gear, they're about getting out there and opening yourself up to amazing moments. And as long as you've got a camera, a decent lens, a sturdy tripod, and a healthy dose of can-do spirit, you'll be able to create photos you're proud of. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Or join my newsletter for all kinds of groovy photography stuff. Or check out some of my most popular videos. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.